Double bat mon frappe, accent out, out, and petit bat mon. Everyone thinks a farm is a dangerous place, but not to me. Relevé. I know every rabbit hole, broken fence and rusty nail. And nice long necks. No matter where I am, I'm safe. Ribs in, Tara. Balance. And down and recover. Thank you, ladies. To the centre, everyone. Tara, you may join us. But the Academy is a whole other planet. One minute, you think you know your way around. The next... Tara, plie! You realise you're in a minefield. Everywhere I look, there's a new trap. Another enemy. Danger around every corner. And just when you think it's game over, the universe gives you a bonus life. First, everybody thinks I got my gear off in the voice changer room. And now this stupid list, can it get any worse? Well, uh, since you ask. At least I'm not the first negative on your list. I suppose I should be thankful. I'm really, uh, I'm truly sorry, Kat. I never meant to drag you into my mess. Yet, here I am. Just some sort of obstacle on your way to Ethan. Trust me, I'm trying to find every possible reason not to feel this way. <laughs> Here's a great reason. My brother will break your heart. And when he does, I'm not going to be there to supply the tissues. I promise I'm avoiding him. So you think Abigail sent it to third years? He read it. Just kill me now. Right. Pop quiz. Who can tell me the real meaning of pas de deux? Pas de deux. It means dance of two. Good. That's its literal translation. But what does it really mean? Beneath the French words, metaphorically. Part of Two bodies, one soul. A guy and a girl dancing together to produce one pure emotion. That's what today's class is all about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never danced with a boy before. It's true, back home girls dance with girls. There were no guys. Don't worry, first year boys are just sweaty creatures that trample on your toes a lot. There are three important ingredients in part of deux. Trust. Good, pass it on. Good. Keep it going. Unity. Great. Most important of all, communication. <laughs> Without them, well. So our star part of a couple from third year have agreed to help out today. Ethan, Isabel, good of you to join us. Now let's divide you into pairs. Can you go with Sean? Remember, to find unity, you need trust and communication. Are your 
hands always this clammy? I'm allergic to you. Focus on who you're dancing with. No one else should matter. Do you want that in plaster? You're doing fine. What a great class. I just meant Patrick's such a great teacher. Mm. Do you think it's a sign the universe is throwing us together? Uh, la, 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 la. Before you leave, I've arranged with Miss Rain for you to have the rest of the day off from your regular classes. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Instead, you'll be doing an exercise for me. Same couples, one of you choose. And remember, you'll be marked on this exercise exactly as you would any other assessment. Blows. One blindfolded, the other a seeing item. Whoop. <laughs> Gross. Swap you. You can be tied to Abigail for 24 hours. I'd rather stab myself in the eye with a blunt spoon. It can't possibly be 24 hours, Clammy. Nobody else got that long. I did. 20 questions over 24 hours. That's it. Ask anything you like of each other, but you must answer truthfully. Like I want to know anything about Christian. So, you're not the only one. Sagittarian, favourite food, pizza, don't have a lucky number, and we're done. No, we're not. This exercise is important. Well, I know everything about you. It's kind of being broadcast around the whole school. Where are you going? The beach. This city. Man, check out that view. I'm gonna go and find Christian. Put me down here. Checking out the bay. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I'm gonna love this exercise. Some sort of stalker. Not always. You've got 19 questions left. So where'd you grow up? Melba. Once of a down. By the beach. Lucky. Yeah. Hauser. Real lucky. Hauser? Housing commission. Where the poor people live. You think I'm rich? You're at the academy, aren't you? So are you. Yeah, well, it's different. It won't be for long. You've got brothers and sisters? I've got one brother. Are you close? A broken hill. I mean, emotionally close. There's flesh and blood. Why wouldn't we be close? What about your parents? What does your dad do? This and that. You have to answer. Says who? That's the rules. What does your dad do? All oh, right, the rules. Okay. My turn. How far have you gone with the guy? The rules. How far? This first base, this second base. Do you even have bases your side of town? Ever even kissed a guy? You haven't, have you? Maybe I could uh, help you out. Maybe you could get lost. <laughs> hey, I still got more questions. Abigail, I'm trying to read. And I'm trying to strengthen my core. You could so be doing this at the beach right now. I don't do beach. Why? Do you have an aversion to fresh air? I don't do sand, I don't do salt, and I don't do sun. Great. I need my water. <clears throat> so do I. We'd let you to dive first now, wouldn't we? It's not like I'm interested. I'm only doing this for school. And I don't care what his favourite colour is or what his family does. So did he tell you anything? Ow! It was him! Ah, oh, 
let's go to the beach to do the exercise. It'll be so fun. I didn't know he'd be here, honest. Right. What are you doing here? Perks of being in third year. Let me guess. Patrick's first year trust, unity, communication exercise. You're not supposed to goof off. Thanks, Nana. We know that. Dara, ball. You guys can play as well if you want. Don't look at me like that, Tara. How do you know how I you might know? be blindfolded, but I'm not blind. Come on, it's just a game of soccer, please. yet. Come on, we're out of here. You know, at some point in this scenario, toilets will come into play. <sighs> you can hold on. No, not for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Swim them food? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go and get... I'll get some food. <clears throat> it's closed for fumigation. Find another one. Why do boys' toilets stink so much? Why do you have to be so nasty? It's a fact. They stink. No, I'm talking about Tara's list. Okay, why did you broadcast it? I just think that's cruel and unnecessary. Less thinking and more doing before we both die of asphyxiation. Abby, I can't go while you're listening. Do you think maybe you could whistle or sing or something, please. Still don't see what you got from spamming that list everyone. You're like an annoying little insect oh. buzzing around. Gotta go, it just makes you look bad. Don't you want people to like you? Fine, fine. Look, might say another word. Here you go. Carbs after three. I'd rather eat a deep fried vending machine. Hey, where's Tara? I haven't seen her.
And then uh, plenty of room on my lap. <laughs> come on. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Hey, watch my car. Come on, princess. Come on, we'll get him later. <laughs> Didn't you see what they were going to do to me? No, it doesn't matter. You don't pick fights around here. What are you still doing here anyway? Well, if you must know, I'm waiting for the bus. Oh, what? No limo today? When have you ever seen me in a limo? You know nothing about me. <laughs> Way more than I want to know. Oh, I've never met anybody so rude. Doesn't your mother teach you manners? She's dead. Just call her if you're worried. Who says I'm worried? I'm just checking messages. Oh, do you know anyway? I can see everything. This whole communication thing must be working. Yeah? Can you see this? I can't imagine what it'd be like to lose my mom. No, you can't. Did she dance? Yeah, when she was young. Is that why you're at the academy? I promised my mum I'd audition. Doesn't mean I'm hanging around. You're gonna quit? I'm not into it. I don't believe you. Seat yourself. I've seen you dance. Fine, you think you know me? True or false, I've got a brother. True. He's in Broken Hill. Very good. And let's say I got in some trouble. Say something serious, maybe I need his help. Would I call him? I don't know, probably. You said you guys were close. So you'd expect him to answer, right? Brother helping brother? Um, Not till I call him from a landline. No call ID to recognise, so he didn't know it was me. Well, you know everything. Is this true or false? I'd like to say it's false, but... See, you know nothing. I made it up. Me and my brother are tight ass. Question left. Question 20. Hit me. Why'd you tell everyone about me in the boys' change rooms? You knew it was an accident. Now, why would I even bother? <laughs> Can't believe you'd still lie about it. I know you did. You know, I wasn't the only one there. Ever thought about that? Do you want to know why I'm so mean to Tara? Because the three of you are a bunch of idiots. You don't know. You've been laughing at me this whole time, haven't you? Excuse me? Starting audition week, telling everybody about me in the boys' change rooms. That was you, wasn't it? Come on, you have to admit it's a funny story. And leaving me at the beach. Hilarious, right? What? But you weren't even with us. Not responding to my pros and cons list. Oh, I didn't realise that required a response. Of course it did. It's not fair. 
because of you, the whole school is laughing at me. How is that because of me? Look, if you want to know the truth, I was embarrassed by it. I mean, I've spoken to you, what, three, four times? And then you go and write all that stuff and send it to everyone. I mean, come on. <laughs> what are you talking about here? I don't even know you. get her Growing up, I had my mum and dad to give me the warning signs. Here, we have to rely on each other. Prove to me yesterday's exercise wasn't a total waste of time. Trust that we won't let one another down. Agree to disagree. Better. Nice work class. And admit that, like it or not, for the next three years, we're tied together with an unbreakable cord. Maybe we've got a bit of a way to go yet. Shoulders down, Tara. In pirouettes, you have to keep your eyes on the one fixed spot. All your focus must be on your spot. Everything else has to be kept out of your mind. No distractions, just the spot. What did I say about focus? 100% focus demands 100% commitment. And that means some things have to be sacrificed. Someone keep moving my spot. Uh -huh. I swear. When you see Tara, can you give her this? I think she might have accidentally dropped it in the bin. It's sort of blurry. It's sort of Ethan. Oh. Did you throw this in the bin? Yep. Not because you found a better shot of him? No, because he's distracting and he's frustrating and generally bad for me. From now on, I'm sticking with my friends. Gold elephant stamp for you, Tiara. I'm a dead man. Dude, it's only English. And you've got a B plus, not an F. Dead, dead, dead. There is no pulse. Okay, I'm six feet underground. 
Borough Courts are doing a pretty good job at topping every class. Are you serious, Kat? Yes. <laughs> Take a look around. This is a dance school. My dad's opinion is easy to top. I promise him straight A's and... <laughs> straight A's and synagogue every Saturday. I would yeah. love an excuse like that to get out of class. Huh. Sorry, excuse? No, no, see, Kat, that's where you're wrong. It's not an excuse, OK? It's this web of lies. One week, I'm telling Dad, oh, I'm too sick to go to temple. Oh. The next week, I'm going to tell the school, the school that... that you're too sick to dance, so you can go to synagogue. Yes. You, you realise you can't keep that up. You risk serious implosion. OK. OK, so I've, I've got it. OK, I have to go to Shabbat tonight and temple tomorrow because I promised Dad I'll do a reading. That's it. OK, I'll be firm. Young Lieberman. Yes. How's your health? No tickle in the throat? You haven't eaten a bad sausage? No, <laughs> I'm fine, sir. Then we'll have the pleasure of your feet in my Saturday class tomorrow. Yeah, with, see, with the you class... You do know the meaning of the word compulsory, as in compulsory Saturday class. Yes. I'm kind of living it at the moment. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What is it? Oh. Hey, man. Oh, come in, come in. My stuff's in the way. I oh, know. Where is it? There are crumbs in my bed. What? Crumbs. Crumbs? Oh, yeah, that'd be the poppy seed cake. Sorry, man. Wait, you ate cake on my bed? Yeah, well, you know, my bed had things on it. Mum only baked yesterday, and it's a, it's a really nice batch. Go and have some. Hey, look, I get it. I understand. I'll clean all this up the second I get back from Shabbat. Yes. Great. Okay. Ooh. Hey, do you want to come? Um, no, I've got my own family stuff. I said get out of there. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Yeah, you want me to call the cops? Dancing school wasn't supposed to interfere with his studies or proper religious observance. Do I attend synagogue? On and off when the mood takes you. You're not a B plus. I know. You're a top percentile, Sam. You could have any career you want. Yeah, as long as it's a cardiologist. Oh, nonsense. Right? There are plenty of other specialties. I know we don't like to admit it publicly, but your grandfather was merely a dermatologist. <laughs> Seven wants to be a ballerinologist. What? That's enough, Ari. I worry that you're sacrificing your education, taking liberties with your faith. You tell us you're one of the best dancers at the academy. And he huh? is. You've seen him dance. But what will I give you long term? Think. But you made a promise. You have to 
to attend synagogue. It'll break your father's heart. Don't, don't worry, Mum. I'll be there. I promise. I'm the champion, my friend. That was poetry in motion. You should bow down before me. I am the ring. Cool shark. Best of three. No, Best I'm of done. five. No, I'm done. Kitty cat. Quick game. Fizzy. But you can help me applicate. Ah, uh, no. Tara. Wanna play? Sorry, I'm busy too. Ah, uh, one game won't hurt. 100% focus demands 100% sacrifice. I'm helping cat. Where's my stuff? I chucked it. You what? It's in the garbage. You can't do that. If I ever have to pick up after you again, I'll get violent. Is that a promise? Hit me. Come on, you can get me out of class. What? Go up for a shot, go the nose. Lots of blood. It's gonna look great. Actually, that'll heal by the morning, so you better go to the mouth. So just give me a nice, big, fat lip. Okay. And go. Go. Yes. Crumbs. Christian, you hate crumbs. Look, crumbs. Reckless. <laughs> there we go. What am I supposed to do? Three generations of Liebermans made it through med school without even feeling the urge to pirouette. So why do I get the curse? I'm gonna ask you something. <sighs> yeah. Dancer or doctor? Dancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Lieberman. It's just so nice to see your Saturday face. Hey, I need you warm. I'm ready. No, you're not. You've been bludging all morning. What's wrong? Synagogue starts at 11. I feel sick. The guilt is eating me up. Okay, turns Alice to con. Ready? And. Pivot on day all. Focus on lifting from your inside thighs. Christian, you're turning in. Whoa, 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 you right? Is there a problem? Yeah, you. Such a waste of time. Did you say something? This class is a waste of time. Does anybody else think this is a waste of time? What are we gonna do, waste your time or everybody else's? Okay, let's keep going. I wanna see the whole movement now. All right, ready? Sammy, focus more on your supporting leg. It'll break your father's heart. Don't worry, I'll be there. Sammy? Oh, no, I don't feel so good. You'll have a rest in a minute. Dancing school wasn't supposed to interfere with studies or proper religious We had an agreement, Sammy. But you made a promise. 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 No lies. No <coughs> <coughs> fault for pushing you. Better go wash your face. I'll go check on him. Thanks, Tara. Can someone find a mop? Sammy, are you okay? You look terrible. My stomach is in knots. I'd be sick again if there was anything left. Sit down. But I can't, Tara. Okay, I've got... What? 20 minutes to make the synagogue on history. You're not still going. I need you to cover for me. 
This is crazy, Sammy. Please, please. Tara. <sighs> Go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. How is he? Fine. I mean, he's not fine. Well, he's sick, obviously. Well, maybe we should call a doctor. Well, he's not doctor sick yet, so he's pretty sick, but he's not that. You know, close Tara, to sick. you have a total inability to lie. Where is he? I did it. I was five minutes late, but I made it for the reading. Great, that's that's great. Yeah, yeah, Dad was happy. Good. Patrick, not so much. He saw straight through me. I had to tell him everything. Seriously, you need to chill out. Patrick's one of the few right people working here. He got in my face. I don't like people in my face. He was correcting you. I don't like people touching me either. Must make you a fun date. You'll never get to find out. Can I have that in writing? Is this too close? What are you doing? People pay their shrinks thousands of dollars for aversion therapy. I'm prepared to do it for free. Now, in 10 words or less, describe how me touching your arm makes you feel. Makes my skin crawl. And now? Same. What about that? I've changed my diagnosis. You're not homophobic. You're peoplephobic. Don't worry. I don't think it's incurable. Morning, everyone. Mr. Reed, you're back. Sammy, Mr. Kennedy wants to see you in his office. Oh, okay. Now. Right. Okay, let's get started. Come in. Close the door after you, Sammy. Mr. Reed, you look bored. Sorry, did you say something? I asked if anyone would like to demonstrate. Stop, guys. When you're ready. Not a bad turn for a first year. But you let yourself down with a wavering working leg. You were fast, but technically sloppy. This time, slow it down. I want nice controlled releves with perfect technique. When you're ready. There is a reason we do the boring exercises.
Girls, change into your point shoes. Yes, you've always said you wanted to dance. You've always suggested that you might have been the best at it. Clearly, you're not. Right? Look, I'm Sweetheart, trying, I'm trying we're thinking heart. about your future. It's over. When Dad thought I was the best, it was barely acceptable. Now he knows I'm the worst. But we're working on that. We're going to be good. He says I'm good at other things. <laughs> you don't care about any of those. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Dad's pulling me out of the academy. Must be a big relief. What? I just figured it out. You actually want to leave. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Because then, you won't ever have to face up to the question of whether you're good enough. You can just say, Dad didn't let it me. It wasn't my choice. But you said dancer, not doctor. Don't be like Christian. That guy, he has talent dripping from his toenails. He's too gutless to do anything with it. Beautiful little Sammy. thing. Come here, are you? Ah. What, what are you doing? I'm looking for my point shoes. You're saying? Yeah. I told you your dad would understand. Yeah. Oh, he didn't. Not even close. Sometimes the things you commit to aren't going to please everyone. Putting yourself on the line comes at a cost. Okay, right from the top. Breathing. And energy out. And but if you want to be the best, sacrifices have to be made. Maybe not all at once.
My enemy in primary school was Stephanie Maxwell. She had this long, shiny ponytail and would tease me because all I had was tangles. Uh-huh, Auntie Beth did, really. I cried about it to Mum, who said true beauty is in the imperfections. She'd obviously never spend time at the academy. Hey, Mum, I'm gonna have to call you back. To be accepted here, you have to be in the top 5% of dance students everywhere. Over the next three years, some will leave because of injury, others because they're just not good enough. A few will get tired of working so hard and just want to be normal. Only two girls can expect contracts with the company. And it's once in a generation that someone will become a prima ballerina, which, if you work it out, is like 0.001% of all girls who do ballet. So it's statistically impossible. Yet all of us are convinced that we are the exception. Guys, the company's back. <laughs> hey, you guys know it's after nine, yeah? I personally don't care, but you're always worrying about being late, so. I'd like you all to make welcome a special guest teacher who over the next few days has generously agreed to give up what spare time she has. Principal of the National Ballet and world-acclaimed ballerina, Natasha Willis. I expect you all to make the most of it. Darling. I've been looking for you all morning. Hi, Mum. So I got this weird message from Mia and then nothing. It's not like her to get AWOL. Who? Oh, your girlfriend. Right, OK, look, Sammy. There comes a time when our imaginary friends don't want to play She's with us anymore. She's on exchange. Tara, you saw me as photo teller. Your mother is Natasha Willis. Interesting non sequitur. No, we were actually Why talking about... Why did you about... keep this a secret? Uh, I didn't. Heaps of people know. Yeah. But she's a ballet legend. <laughs> you know I have her photos in my locker. I just thought you were being ironic. What, you, you seriously didn't... Wow. I... I could have sworn you were just being cool. I'm never cool. You know that. Right. <laughs> but to have a mum who actually gets what we do, she could, like, watch you practice, give you pointers. Mm -hmm. All we do is share and massage each other's bunions. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Um, so I've been summoned tonight, I assume it's... Shared pain, uh-huh. Yeah. We have um, this opening night thing. You guys wouldn't want to come, would you? Could be brutal. Stuffy VIPs, hours of hanging around backstage. Actually, I totally understand. I you love you. Pass? Thanks for not okay. doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you can. This together. is supposed to be a walkway. Excuse me. Should we invite Abigail? I'm, I'm sure she'd want to go. Oh, did, did you bump your head, Poppet? Sammy! Guys, meet Mia. You're real. Today is officially weird. And you know those people you have an immediate connection with? Jacket or no jacket, what do you wear to a premiere? Sorry, uh, ignore her, hot Swedish guy in the kibbutz. Right. So, we'd spend hours talking about everything and sneak out in the middle of the night to pick great food. And... Oh, loving it. Juice running down his Viking arms. Oh. Yeah, but none of it mattered because I couldn't stop thinking about Sammy for one single second. So I had to come home early. Crazy, I know. Hi. 
You guys just hanging out in my room? Uh, no, actually, we're off to the theatre. Oh. You're excused for catch-up time. Great. Hmm? Oh, unless you want to postpone. I mean, it is backstage. She's just flown all the way from Israel, Romeo. Exactly, you're probably jet-lagged. See you, Mia. Great to meet you guys. You too. <laughs> Wait. This is a life-changing moment. Is it over? Thank you. For a second. The dude falls in love with a swan. Tell me that's not creepy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna head back to the green room. I take it that you're staying? Okay. So, this is the kibbutz where we live. You can't really see it, but it's actually on the Jordanian border, so all that separated us was this, you know, barbed wire fence. What? <laughs> I've been here obsessing about pirouettes, and you've actually been doing stuff. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, right, with all these ballet girls running around. I'm sure they kept you company. <laughs> Have you guys on the couch? Because we can move. Who are you? You don't go here. How can you tell? <laughs> I'll leave anything dance related to this one. He's amazing, don't you think? <coughs> Wrong pathway. Oh, would you like some pizza, Abigail? Come on, help us out before we explode. Oh, she doesn't do carbs after three. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> hmm. I look good. I was just, um, really? Cat will be wanting back up by now. The first time I performed it was 12 weeks after Cat was born. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Bye, darling. Amazing. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for coming. And listen, go easy. You know reviews terrify me. <laughs> Goodbye. We should go too. Thank you. Goodbye. She's my mum. Thank you. Trouble? <sighs> I'm glad that's over. So, you must be the famous Tara I've been hearing all about. It's an honour to meet you, Miss Willis. Tonight was incredible. Oh, really? Did you think? Darling, can you pass me the... Thanks. Well, I love meeting Kat's friends. You didn't want to bring Abigail too? Uh, well, I would have if it was four years ago and we were actually still friends, but hey, <laughs> bonus points for name recall, Mum. <laughs> mm, I'm always in so much trouble with her. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> now, tomorrow, I know you're far too busy to spend time with your decrepit mother, but we haven't done anything together in ages. Well, my wardrobe could use some credit card action and... I, I was more you... thinking an early dinner. I have a matinee in the afternoon, which I thought... Uh, I just remembered that we have uh, a thing on. We have a thing on. Well, if you get an opening, I'll leave your names on the door. Oh, that would be fantastic. Sorry, Mum. So you guys got along? How could you not? Mia is smart, she is funny, and she is way too hot for you. Yeah, she's perfect, isn't she? But theoretically, what's perfect when you get down to it? Are you sure you want Liebman? Because I can show you around. <laughs> Positive. Hey, how was the ballet? I feel bad Sammy missed out because of me. No, 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 don't. Uh, as a present to the reunited lovebirds, <laughs> I got you matinee tickets. Aw, thanks, Kat. That's so sweet. Oh, stop it. Thanks. When you die, I'm having your feet. <laughs> uh, it's a genetic gift. Mum and I are both double jointed. You ready? <clears throat> Watch it. Watch it. Okay. Normal? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Bones aren't meant to go that way. <laughs> what? La, 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 la. <laughs> Something's different. You got a new training bra, right? You look like someone. I think it's sweet you're trying to copy Natasha. It's a shame it doesn't do much for your bone structure. I'm not trying to look like anyone. Is it illegal to want to change? First Ethan, then your mother. Isn't it adorable how your best friend has a crush on your entire family? <laughs> Valor, everyone. Light and shade. Imagine yourselves more bird than human. Energy connecting you up through the sky. Something funny, darling. The rest of us are trying to work. Isn't that right, Tara? Good. Excellent. Lovely. Lightness. Sorry, I'll get out of your way. Actually, I was looking for you. You were? I heard you had tickets to this afternoon's performance. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't usually, you know, ask, but for some reason I haven't been able to source any, which is really irritating because it's Swan Lake and that's obviously something I have to see. Mm -hmm. So? Yes. We can absolutely go to the ballet together. Great. I'll meet you in the common room at three. Okay. Hi. Yeah, sorry, I didn't hear it. Uh, listen, about those, um, those tickets. They've, they've fallen through. Yeah, and no, I know it sucks. Yeah, what can you do? OK. All right, bye.
Jacket or no jacket. <laughs> Can nobody dress themselves around here? Sorry, I'm just a little... Ugh. Aww, you and me are still getting nervous. <clears throat> yeah. You know, if I wasn't girl crushing on her, I'd be jealous. Kat, where have you been? Sorry, was I supposed to give you my coordinates? Do you mind if I go over to the Opera House? We didn't actually have a thing, did we? Because um, Natasha did leave our names at the door. So you thought you'd, what, go and see if she'll adopt you? You know, why don't you rob her and see if some of her magic comes off? What? What? It's fine, Tara. Just don't ask my permission because you're going to do it anyway. I don't get what the problem is. Natasha only wants to spend time with you. <laughs> is that a fact? Yes. And if I was lucky enough to have a mother like yours, I would make the most of it. <laughs> Stop embarrassing yourself, Tara. Wear the jacket, Sammy. What's with her? Oh, you seriously can't see it. Sorry, I'm light. I had a wardrobe malfunction. Obviously not for you, because you look. Are we ready? Where's Mia? Hmm? Your girlfriend? Oh, no, it's, it's just us two today. I think she's coming down with something. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing contagious. I'm not sick. Oh, it's just a mid pocket. Either. But it's, it's great of you to be concerned. Sammy! You are seriously gonna love me. There wasn't a ticket left on the planet, but Dad knows this guy who pulls strings. And... You look nice, Abigail. You're going to the valley as well. Together. Silly me. Yeah, I didn't mean... They're going to waste. Hi, Natasha. You look incredible. Um, Thanks for what you said in class today, you know, about feeling like a bird. Do you often picture that? Because I know when I'm dancing, I really Five feel minutes. like I'm flying. I can't deal with this right now, could you? Come with me, love. Don't worry. The principals just get a bit twitchy. Yeah. They have to focus on themselves before a performance. Before a performance, after a performance. I've not met one yet who isn't just a little bit self-absorbed. I suppose they have to be. But Kat would have told you that. Yeah, she did mention something. What's worse than dog poo? Maggots in the dog poo. Right, so they're squelched between my toes and... Burrowing into your skin. Which causes some horrible parasitic disease that makes you vomit incessantly. And that's what I am. Worse. You know, before I went away, everyone said, said that, that we were perfect together. I know. So is Abigail more perfect for no, you than me No, she's... Now? She's kind of the opposite.
don't know what to do about Kat. She has potential, but such a bad attitude about her dancing. Did you see that girl before? The new best friend and the worst trained dancer in the entire academy. It's like she's trying to annoy me. I just wish she'd realize how lucky she is. Hey, Mum. Do you have time to talk? Nothing much. I dyed my hair. How could you do that? You should know that I'm going with Mia in the divorce. Hey, Kat. Sorry about yesterday. I was being insensitive. And, and self-absorbed? That too. Cool, thanks for clearing it up. Tara, darling, where did you run off to? I was looking forward to showing you around. I'd like to give someone the benefit of my experience. Okay, leaving you to your love fest. Sorry, Natasha, I had things to do. Things? Yeah, hair appointment. It's gonna take forever to come out, but I guess I have time. <clears throat> Mermaid chic. I've known maybe if we uh, added a few highlights. <laughs> Around here, we worship perfection. It's what we chase in every moment of every class. But sometimes, perfect isn't what we want. And sometimes, it can make us selfish and let other people down. Sure, I want to be in the top 0.001%, but there's got to be another way because that's not my idea of perfection. Not even close.